Hey there, this is Akshay Nandan and welcome back to the next video in which we are going to study about knowledge in uh, Creo AI. So we know that if we are building an inference engine or like if we are building an agent, so let's say this is my agent and this agent will be uh, built of uh, many components. So the first component, very important component is going to be an LLM, the brain, right? Uh, and like very frequently this agent will be in uh, touch with this LLM. It will make some request and LLM is going to give it some response or we, we also call it as a generation or the inference, right? And this agent is also going to have a uh, number of tools, right? We, we know this, right? Uh, like the agent is going to have a bunch of tools and this agent can make these tool calls uh, when LLM asks the agent to do so then this agent can make the tool calls. Okay. Another important thing that an agent has is the knowledge base. Okay. Uh, the knowledge base, uh, because every time agent will not be having the full fledged information or the context about what the user is going to ask or is asking. Right. So over here, uh, we call it as the knowledge center. Now this knowledge center can be an external knowledge center or an inbuilt uh, knowledge center, which is provided by many agentic frameworks like Creo AI. Okay. But what exactly is there in this knowledge center? Let's say I'm building a chat engine, which should be able to, which is an HR agent, right? And that agent should be able to, uh, give responses to the employees. If employees asking about a company policy, leave policy, um, or like, um, any other policy, right? So the agent or the LLM will not be have, will not be having any information about the company policies, right? Because these policies are, uh, created by the company, right? So this agent will not have information. So if you want to build this inference engine or a chat bot, then you need to have this knowledge center attached to this agent so that whenever there are two ways, whenever, if the company policies are like very big bunch of documents and they are like thousands of pages, then you can use something called a cloud vector database like Pinecone, right? You can use Pinecone, um, where you can embed your documents, index your documents. And whenever based on the user prompt, let's say the employee is asking about the leave policy, then that prompt will go to the Pinecone and it will fetch those bunch uh, those parts of the complete document, it will not bring the whole document and give it to the agent. No, it will not happen like that. If the employee is asking about leave policy, the agent, uh, not the agent, but uh, the query will go to the, uh, like this, uh, uh, vector database, and it is going to bring only those paragraphs, which talks about the leave policy so that our LLM is not bombarded with a lot of information. Only those paragraphs, which are having the information about the pol leave policy will go to the LLM and based on that, the user will get the information back or the answer back. So this is called the external knowledge center where your knowledge is embedded or indexed on a cloud database, cloud vector database, right? We also have Chroma database, right? Now there can be, uh, like you can use this uh, cloud databases. The second way is, uh, if you're using Creo AI, you can use the knowledge uh, framework by Creo AI. So what it does is it, uh, it does not use any cloud database. Yes, you can uh, forward your uh, documents, embedded documents to a cloud database also. But if you are using knowledge uh, by Creo AI, then it keeps the documents in your system itself. So I know it might get, uh, it might be hard for you to understand. So let's go through this documentation and, but instead of that, let's build a Creo and see what I mean by knowledge. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new crew. So crew AI create crew. Let's call it as chatbot. Okay. Chatbot. Uh, okay. I need to activate my environment. Source V E N B slash bin slash activate. And let's create a crew. I'm going to use Gemini, uh, Gemini 1.5 flash should be good. I'll, uh, I'll put the API key later and yes, our crew is ready. So you see this knowledge folder and you, you can see a text file inside it. Let's delete it. So basically what I want to, I want to say is all of the knowledge or the information that you want to give to your, uh, crew AI, crew agent, that those information you can keep in the knowledge folder. Okay. Uh, again, let's go and do it other, uh, like instead of talking, right? So in the crew.py folder, what I'm going to do is first of all, 
you can provide information to your crew in various formats you can provide a simple string so what this knowledge is doing is this knowledge will set the context for your crew by crew means all the agents that are there in your crew they can be a four or five agents right all those agents will know this information will will be having this knowledge okay that whatever uh, which like whoever is talking with this agent or this crew interacting with this crew the name of the user is john and he's 30 years old and lives in san francisco so basically this knowledge will be helpful if you want to set the context for your crew agents okay so i'll do the same first of all let's use this string knowledge source so as you can see knowledge source so there can be various knowledge sources it can be text file normal string excel file pdf file json file right can be various uh, formats right so let's use the string uh, for now so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it over here and let's remove this from here i have just put the import over here i'm importing string knowledge source and over here i'm going to put the string source okay so the content is username is akshat okay he is uh, 24 years old and lives in bangalore india okay i'll save it so when i'll be kick starting this crew all the agents of my crew will know that akshat is talking to this crew and he's 24 years old and he lives in bangalore i'll show you how that works so i'll save it and now just scroll down and you need to provide one more parameter to your crew which is your knowledge sources so you can have multiple knowledge sources okay i'll save it and for now i'm just providing the string source which we defined over here okay save it and now uh, i'll go back to agents and task configurations i'll remove this and this researcher will be helpful assistant so i only have one uh, agent and this role is going to be helpful assistant goal is going to be uh, like help the user uh, in some way right i'll remove this back story will be helpful assistant and i'll go to task again remove this first task and the task is going to be helpful assistant task okay description you can give task for the helpful assistant to assist the users with the queries the user query is the user query is and you pro provide the question over here okay so that the agent knows what exactly is the question that user is asking for expected output is going to be a uh, helpful assistant should provide a detailed information response and that's it and this agent is going to be helpful assistant let's save it let's go to crew and let me remove uh, all of this part and i have only one uh, agent like this and this is going to be helpful assistant so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it and then this is going to be helpful assistant task and this will be same and let's remove this task okay so all everything is looking good now i can go back to main.py in the inputs i'm going to have only one uh, like value which is question so i provided the question who am i and i expect the answer to be like uh, hey you are akshat something like that right because in the knowledge source i have given it this information now uh, two more things as soon as you will run the crew it is going to uh, embed this uh, piece of information and that embedding will be stored in your local system so if you want to know where exactly uh, the embedding will be stored you can print the location in your console and one more thing the embedding model right because uh, we are going to need an embedding model and by default kriya uses open ai uh, embedding model so you need to provide the open ai api key in your environments and if you don't want to use open ai embedding model uh, let's say you don't have the api key then go to this knowledge document uh, page and search for embedder and you're going to find that like this you can change the embedding provider and you can put this in your crew so if i just copy this if you don't put this it will take open ai as your embedding model right so below this knowledge source you can put that parameter you can put the provider as google and config this model which will be an embedding model and then you can put the google api in your in your environments 
and that's how you don't have to depend on open ai as your embedding model this was number one okay let me remove this i'll use open ai okay second thing is if you want to print the location of the place in your system where exa where exactly this knowledge will be stored right because this is a string it needs to be converted to embeddings so and we are not using any cloud vector database so we need to store these embeddings in our system itself okay so for that um, i'll show it to you let's scroll down yes this is the line finding your knowledge storage location so just copy these two okay go to your main and where we are running the run function there itself i can i can print the location okay and i'll import this okay i'll import this and this should be good okay so okay no i just imported the complete code piece only these two imports are required and we should be good so first of all it is going to print the knowledge storage location then it is going to uh, basically embed my piece of information and then it is going to trigger the agents so for now i'm not going to do this okay i just want the knowledge path okay so what i'll do is i'll cut this and i'll put it over here let's try to uh, run this crew knowledge storage location is this particular path okay go to like i'm using mac so if you're using some other system you can check where exactly it is going to store it right so this is for mac this is for linux and this is for windows otherwise you can print the path and then you can also check the location so i'm in the application support and if i see what exactly is in this i went inside chatbot because over here it told me to go inside chatbot and over here we should have a knowledge folder uh okay yes i see the knowledge folder and i can delete it so if i delete it rm dash rf knowledge and now it should not be there now if i go back and change this let's say i want it to be storage knowledge okay okay if i just save it and if i just clear it and again try to run the queue you see this is the new path so like this you can modify the path and i just want to say that you can modify the path now if i say list all it is not yet there why because till now we have not created any um, embedding so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to uh, kick off my crew with this input and let's see what we get okay so let's just clear it crew i run knowledge retrieval started uh this is the additional information that it got username is akshit he's 24 years old and lives in bangalore right and uh, knowledge retrieval completed and this is the final uh, output so final output is hello akshit i'm delighted to assist you based on the information you have provided you are 24 year 24 year old residing in the vibrant city of bangalore so you see now the context is set for the agent for the crew and now it knows about me like this what i'm going to do is there is one more way of providing knowledge to your crew uh i'll go back to docs and i am going to provide i am going to provide a pdf okay let's go and provide a pdf knowledge source so i'll copy this pdf source and just below the string source i'm going to put it over here and over here we have already kept the story book pdf which has this 100 selected stories titles just the titles not the stories so just put storybook.pdf and it should be good so i'm going to clear it and let's try to run it again crew i run yes it should be retrieved and yes it got the information from the pdf and it also got my previous information because string and pdf both the sources we have provided and then i can see the final output based on the information provided the documents contain selection of 15 short stories by wenry and here are the stories okay so that's how it works now if you go back to uh, terminal and say ls a 
I see the knowledge folder. I can go inside this knowledge folder and I can see what is there inside this knowledge folder. So basically it is containing chroma file and the embedded documents. Okay. So I hope you like this video or rest of the things you can explore on your own, explore the embedder, right? Explore the various knowledge sources and that's it. And it is super simple, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video till the next video. Keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.